to turn on a light. Okay, here we go. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey there. Uh, I'm really digging deep this week. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm uh, inside of a tunnel. Um, and unfortunately, I, uh, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> wow, this is really tight. Whew. Okay, have you ever heard of the word claustrophobia? Yeah, it's it's where somebody uh, is really, really scared of tight places and small places, then they think like the walls are closing in on them, they run out of a, a, an ability to breathe, and I, I never thought I'd be like that, but I think I'm starting to become that. <sighs> help! Help! Somebody please! Come help me! I've dug too deep and I can't get up! John? <gasps> is that an angel? No, John, it's me. What are you doing in there? I'm stuck. I'm dug deep and I can't get out of hell. Oh, man. I can't dig out. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Are you so or so? Oh, I'm so. Ah, good, good. That makes things way more clear. Mm -hmm. How did we come up with the show's name in the first place? I don't know. It's probably just something that I came up with. Oh, yeah. Wait, why would it be something you came up with? Well, when it comes to the show, I'm kind of the, the creative force behind it. So it's How do you figure that? How do I figure what? How do you figure that you're the creative force behind the show? Well, I came up with the title. Oh, that's speculation. Besides, people don't tune in for your creativity. They tune in for my hijinks. That's why I'm here. The show was my idea. The show was my idea. There is only one way to solve this. You're right, one way. Splitting, Splitting the, the studio, studio down the middle like a late 80s sitcom. That was my idea. Stop copying me. Ah! I'll get the tape. And I'll fast forward in time. Star wipe. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Brandon Show. I am your host, the inimitable Brandon. Today, we are diving deep into the recesses of our minds. Cannonball! Woo! Come on! John, do not do this. Why not? It's time for some hijinks. Besides, you have no control over my show, because my show is called John Show is better than Brandon Show. Here we go. Mm. Actually, look, look. What, what am I looking at? The camera is on my side of the room. <laughs> no, 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 the camera is off limits. We, uh, neither one of us can have a show nah, without the camera. You should have thought about that before you agreed to this contrived comedic situation. This was all part of my plan because wisdom is a John. All right, fine. Okay, you've got the cameras, but all the sound equipment is on my side. Who needs sound equipment? You're still showing him. No, no. Welcome again to my wonderful show and an example of verbal dexterity not seen since my sophomore year in high school, I shall sing the Major General song from Pirates of Penzance. <clears throat> I am the very model of a modern Major General. I have information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fights historical from Marathon to Waterloo, and orders categorical. I... It's been... It's been a long time since I've done this, so I only remember the first four lines. You all won't have a problem hearing those five or six times, right? So here we go. I am the very model of the mother. This isn't working, is it? John, no one can hear you, all right? But hey, but I've got an idea. We should go to Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, guy, question, why is there only one of you? I am also here. Oh, <laughs> let me guess. The thing where you put a line of tape in the middle of the room and split everything 
and things aren't going the way you planned? How did you know? <laughs> Let's just say I've watched a TV show or two in my time. But luckily, you might be able to take away something from today's story. We're talking about a wise ruler and one of the hardest problems he ever untangled. And we're doing it with the help of our very own So and So Show players. Hooray! Okay, the star of our story today is King Solomon. Now, Solomon was the son of David, who was a very important king. Solomon had a front row seat to his father's reign and picked up a tip or two on what it meant to be a good king. Tip number one, always give away the full-size candy bars at Halloween. It's worth the extra price. But Solomon didn't just get insight from watching his father. One night, God appeared to Solomon in a dream. Now, in the dream, the Lord said to Solomon, Ask for anything you want me to give you. Anything? Solomon thought about what he would need to be a good ruler. Lord, you've made me king, but I'm still very young. Give me a heart that understands. That way I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. What an incredible thing to ask for. Solomon could have asked for riches or power. He could have asked to be a foot taller or to live for a thousand years. But instead, he asked for wisdom. The Lord was so pleased with Solomon's request, he promised to give him wisdom. And not only that, God told Solomon, I will give you what you have not asked for. I will give you wealth and honor. As long as you live, no other king will be as great as you are. Wow, this is great. Somebody pinch me, I must be dreaming. Ah! Solomon realized he had been dreaming, but it was much more than a dream. His wisdom was quickly put to the test. He was approached by two women. Are you, oh, my king. My king. Oh, my king. My king. Hey, my, my king. king. Uh, my king, this woman and I live in the same house and she is insisting that this is hers. It is mine. It looks just like me. What does that? Yes, it does. Oh, it's my mine. What are we arguing about? An X Station Playbox 10. <laughs> what? Oh. Pause for one second. <clears throat> okay. So in the Bible, the two women are arguing over which one of them was the mother of a newborn baby, not a video game console. But the story gets kind of intense, which isn't necessarily the tone of the so-and-so show players. So... An X Station Playbox 10. Solomon was in a jam. How could he possibly know who the baby belonged to? The stakes were sky high. So Solomon took a pretty wild shot. Bring me a sword. What are you doing? I'm going to cut the X Station Playbox 10 in half. It's the only fair way to settle this. That way, you both have half. Sounds good to me. Half is better than none. Wait, <laughs> if you cut it in half, it won't work. I know, but I don't know what you want me to do. Your Majesty, wait. Give her the X Station Playbox 10. If you cut it in half, it'll be destroyed and no one will get to enjoy the mix of next-gen graphics and high ultra-processing power. She will have stolen it from me. But I care more about the X Station Playbox 10's happiness than I do mine. <laughs> right. It belongs to her. Thank you. Not fair. 
no, 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 no. I did right by that baby. Yep. X Station Playbox 10. What's next? The end. Let's give a big round of applause for the so and so show players. All right. Let's think about how wild Solomon's suggestion was. He said to cut a baby in half. That's nuts. But he would have never hurt the child. It was a test. Solomon was thoughtful about the problem, and he was kind to the real mother who was in a bit of a bind, and he trusted God for wisdom. Those are the qualities you need as a follower of Jesus. You'll have hard decisions too, but when you listen to God and the wisdom of the people he puts in your life, more often than not, you'll make a good choice. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kellen. That was pretty appropriate for us. I, you know, I'm glad we decided to put all this behind us. That's right. Obviously, we can disagree about things, but cutting each other off completely isn't wise. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Did you just come up with that yourself? No, Jonathan. That was from my freshman production of... Reveal the question! Today's question is, why do you need wisdom? Oh, well, if you get into a fight with your friend, wisdom is the thing telling you to apologize. Yep. Or the thing telling you you shouldn't eat cookies before dinner. Yeah. Wisdom is knowing when something is right or wrong. Splitting your room down the middle with tape is not wise, and it's a huge waste of tape. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Wisdom, it's a John thing. Also a Brandon thing. And hopefully a you thing. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. This was the So-and-So Show. Have a great day. You have a great day. Tape ball. Oh, I was hoping it would stick. Woohoo! It's me, John, everybody. Welcome to the John Show is Better Than Brandon Show. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? Watch what I pull out of my sleeve. It's my sweat. <laughs> Okay, here's a burpee for you. Number one. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs>